I'll tell you the, the most fun knockout was when I slammed that dude that was 40 pounds overweight. That was hilarious. So <laughs> that was bad. The legacy? Oh, that was bad. But I threw him through the mat. So 44 pounds overweight. I came out of retirement because a dude called me out on Twitter. He goes on Twitter and goes, hey, I heard you need an opponent. I said, be careful what you wish for. I'm retired. I don't want to fight. I hit my wife and I said, this dude want to fight me. I don't know who he was. I looked him up. He was in good shape. He was six and three or seven and three. He beat one of my teammates. I said, okay, let's go. And this this dude shows up, catfishes me. He's freaking, shows up at 224, man. Supposed to be fighting at 170. So then he says 180. So I get there at 180. He shows up at 224. So... I had to weigh in at 205. I can't say I can't legally say how I weighed in at 206. I had to weigh 206 in order to do the bout because the weight class was heavyweight, so it was 206 and up. So I found a way to weigh 206 pounds, and I fought the guy the next day, and I slammed him to death. I'm gonna call Guinness World Records because I got the I have the mixed martial arts world record for slam knockouts. Nobody has as many slam knockouts as me. I believe it's four. Should have been five, but one got taken away. I, I was in this fight, and halfway through the fight, I was like, I don't know if I want to do this anymore. <laughs> you know, I was fighting Seth Brzezinski. A good win. You know, I haven't won a fight in two years, and it was kind of mentally draining. And I really realized that, that that's it. That's really, I feel like that's the best I can get. Nothing against Seth. Seth ain't, is not about to get UFC and win a UFC title, he's always going to be a tough guy. But if, if my tough fight is self defense, I got it's time to hang him up. That's a good win. I'm not going to be beating these badass 22 year old 185 pounders. Seth Brzezinski is where it ended, and that's where it's going to end. I actually missed a couple, but um, those were the main ones, you know. Um, before I fought, uh, Jorge Santiago, I almost tore both hamstrings. I couldn't walk for like a week, man. You know, we need the money, though. A lot of people understand. This, this, let me break down MMA math for a lot of people. Like, when I fought in Bellator, I made good money. I'm going to tell you right now, Bellator paid me damn good. Bellator and World Series. But I only fought one, you know, for Bellator, I fought a lot. But for World Series, I didn't fight much at all. When I fought for World Series in 2013, I beat Jorge Santiago. I made 30 grand. That's a lot of money until you divide it by 12. <laughs> you know what I mean? And not even counting paying the coach, just paying, you know, which ends up leaving me with about $24,000. I mean, $24, you divide $24,000 by 12. I'm not sure exactly what that is. I'm just going to throw it out there and say it's a little over two grand a month. It doesn't average out to a lot. Um, and the reason why I did that, Matt, is I have a friend that worked at Walmart. Makes about three grand a month. He's like, bro, hey, $15,000 in your bike? I said, yeah. Take away 20% and multiply that. That by how many months it is to my next fight. He's like, damn. I said, bro, I only made $15 a month if you do it like that. You know, and no fighter's going to ration the money out. Because you can't because you don't know where your next fight's going to be. <laughs> so, man, the pay is just it's, it's hard. Unless you're in the big money, 50 grand, 100 grand a fight, which is, what, the top 2 two to 5%. You're struggling, man. I got in the UFC early. I'll tell you this. The UFC paid me the least. My first fight was 6-6. Six six. That was in 2010. And that was their minimum. I made 6, 8, 10, and 12. Um, and that was about it. When I fought Falco, 6, 8, 10. Yeah, 12. I was at 12 and 12, which wasn't a lot. So when I got to the World Series, negotiations went really easy. I was like, hey, just match what the UFC would have paid me in my last fight. And we got a deal. And they were like, cool. I love Ray Sapo, man. I wish I could have fought for him um, a little bit more. But it just, I caught them in the early phases before they got the PFL going. I think the PFL is the best thing going right now for fighters. I do. So it's, it's the, the playoffs pay well. I mean, it's a lot going on. I think, you know, all these organizations are good. There's more options now. Back in my day in 2006 to 2010, it was pretty much just the UFC. Remember, they were buying everybody out. Bellator really wasn't doing that great. But right now, man, you can fight almost anywhere. You can go to one. You can go to uh, a lot of places. You can go to Japan. You can go to Russia. I mean, there's, there's so many options for fighters to go. You know, it's not just about the UFC anymore. They get paid good. 